today's break is giving people some hope. Fox 2's Max Dietnight joins us now live from Creve Coeur Lake. And Max, the park was flooded with people today. Yeah, Mandy, that's right. We saw a full parking lot here today. People just happy to get outside and see some sunshine for once. As you all were just talking about, it felt like it had been forever since we had some warmth and sunshine here on our area. And they say it really helps change their outlook on things. Being out here, literally the sun shines, and I'm like, this is a great day. <laughs> it's a sentiment shared by many. We watched as people flocked to Creep Core Lake to enjoy the warmer weather and soak up some much needed sunshine, including sisters May and Wendy Hahn. Recently, it's been kind of frigid, gloomy, you know, don't want to step out of the house, but today, no cloud in sight, and yeah, it's just a nice day to be outside. The last few weeks, it has been so gloomy, cloudy, and uh, we are glad it's it's what it is today. With more sunshine in the forecast, Bucks and Rima Ajwani say they plan to be back out here very soon. Yes, day after tomorrow. He already told me, just be ready, finish your work early so we can get here. <laughs> While some people skipped work or slipped out of the office a little bit early Monday, Christine Zika was getting down to business, scanning the shoreline for her next big find. I don't come out when it's 19 degrees because everything's frozen and you can't get into the dirt, but this is perfect. Zika didn't mind the sunshine either. It's as close to a Florida beach as I'm going to get in the middle of winter, right? No matter how you took in Monday's warm up, people out here suggest with more of this on the way, you get outside and enjoy it. More people should come out here. It's beautiful. Don't want to move around. Just go to your local park, sit at a nice bench, face the sun, take a nap. And as our team of meteorologists in mission throughout the day, the rest of this week is looking pretty nice, too. And for those of you out there with winter fatigue, we'll listen to this. The unofficial start of spring. A lot of people say March 1st is that date. We're just 31 days away from that. So the countdown is officially on. Live from Creve Corps Park tonight, Max Deke, Night Fox 2 News. Max.